Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about AI investing beyond the Silicon Giants. Please subscribe for more content and check the links in the description. Investors are absolutely frothing right now for new ways to get in on the mania over artificial intelligence software. It is my opinion that few of them actually understand what they are investing in and even fewer of them understand how these companies will monetize their products. It is also my opinion that an investment bubble in AI software has already formed and much like a bubble for all things EV that formed in 2020 and 2021, there will eventually be a lot of heartbreak. I will absolutely be shooting for the moon with a high risk investment in at least one or two of these new AI software companies, but the majority of my investment dollars allocated to the sector will end up going into pick and shovel type investments. Beyond my one or two picks on the software side, I don't really care who ends up being the winner in the race to monetize AI software. I plan to capitalize on the technological shift no matter who wins the race. In my last video, we talked about a couple of obvious bets. The so-called silicon giants that are really at the forefront of AI in terms of how much money they're sinking into research and development. You likely already own those companies if you are a tech investor. Beyond the silicon giants like NVIDIA, AMD, Alphabet, and Microsoft, we should start looking at other parts of the AI supply chain that are going to benefit from wider adoption of the technologies. AI is going to be a world-changing technology, much like the internet, the smartphone, electricity, and the car. And much like those technological revolutions, most investment ideas in that period will be failures. There are other ways to play this transformation that are a lot lower risk than investing in the latest hot AI software stock. In fact, there are three main strategies, pick and shovel, data management, and security. In the pick and shovel category, it isn't just chips that are specifically designed to handle the AI workload that are going to see an explosion of demand. Marvel Technology, among other companies, makes chips and data center connectivity. Their chips assure that workloads are distributed fast and efficiently. AI creates massive demand and workloads for data centers. Also included in the pick and shovel category is electronic design automation, which consists of hardware and software services with the goal of assisting in the planning, design, and manufacturing of semiconductor devices or chips. It's basically engineering simulation software and expertise all the way up to the actual production of the final products. There are a number of companies well positioned to benefit from AI. If you are interested, check out Cadence Design Systems, Ansys, Teradyne, Synopsys, and their competitors. This is really a lesser known corner of the technology world that is going to benefit from everything happening in technology today. Essentially, any autonomous technology or AI technology is likely to have these companies involved in the design process at some stage. These are companies uh, with very hard to understand business models with billions in revenues that are already profitable and stand to benefit anytime anyone has a new idea in technology. AI workloads are also very memory intensive. This is bullish for any company that makes DRAM and flash memory. Companies like Micron, Infineon, Marvell Technologies, and others. In the data management category, we have industry experts that are telling us that companies want to train AI models on their own internal data without sharing that data with the rest of the world, and that requires something called sandboxing. So what is sandboxing? Sandboxing is a popular type of computer data security setup that is being used in systems worldwide today. Organizations need to make sure that their data is protected from all manner of threats, both internal and external. In terms of simple sandboxing, um, it works by keeping potentially malicious software and people isolated from the remainder of your organization's computer systems. This is going to allow for a safe analysis of threat without risking your company's real data. In the isolated test environment, the threat is analyzed and played with, hence the name Sandbox. Now, there are a lot of companies that specialize in data management for these large data centers that do a lot of the work of cleaning and sandboxing data. Companies like Snowflake and Datadog help companies warehouse and analyze information. Check out those two companies and their competitors. The last category is the security category. And let's start off by saying that there is going to be a massive change 
in the threat landscape in terms of cybersecurity. And this is going to be very, very good for cybersecurity companies. This will be a whole new realm of mayhem in digital crime as bad actors exploit weaknesses in this technology and do things that I can't even imagine now. Companies that might benefit are Palo Alto Networks, Cloudflare, Zscaler, CrowdStrike, and any number of their competitors. AI is going to play a big role in determining the response to threats to AI as well. Security companies are already running AI models across security data to identify threats earlier and faster than ever before. I just wanted to share a few more alternatives to the latest hot AI stocks and talk about alternative paths to profit from this shift in technologies. AI is going to change the way we do business, but I think that it is really early to stop dropping stacks on these AI companies that in many cases you don't really understand how they will monetize their business and might not have a pathway to profitability anytime in the near future. There are many ways to capitalize on the shift with companies that have solid earnings, stellar growth rates, and healthy balance sheets. To be clear, the companies that I mentioned in this video aren't even close to being a complete list. I'm sure that there are lots of companies to invest in in the AI revolution that are far out of the spotlight that are going to make billions of dollars in the future that I'm not aware of. You should, should research each potential investment carefully before deciding to invest your hard-earned cash. This video, of course, is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any security. Do your own due diligence. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.